What's up guys, this is The Rifeman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Prussia. So to kind of round off about last time, um, we fought a... We intercepted a Prussian force near this fort in northeastern France and managed to push them back. Um, but eventually there is just going to be a cataclysmic battle facing everything. Um, but for now, I want to move some of my... Some of these forces in to support Brandenburg. And then this force will try... Well, I'm not even going to... I was thinking about fighting it, but... Because there's so little... Well, there's no point, so I may as well just take it. Ah, my USA campaign has won, but I'd like to... I, I want to keep it going, actually, for now. Because right now the Prussians haven't been beaten. And I quite like the idea of what I'm doing right now. I've got lots of fingers in many, many pies all over the world. We've got this up here in Greece. Am I still at war with the Ottomans? I am still at war. Got all this down here. Jerusalem and Palestine. Right. Good, they're all replenishing. Got this navy here that I might need to well I will want to kill. Got this Prussian this Russian army that's not really doing anything of use. And this navy's not doing anything. Doki. Just keep trading, I suppose. Just keep raiding, I suppose. Make 130 grand a turn. Indifferent. So if I gave you back. Paris. No, I wanted to make, see if I can make you be my protectorate, but no. It's unfortunate about Russian owning Copenhagen, because I'd like to have taken it. Oh, look at these nice, tasty elite troops. Fusiliers, engineers. Okay, so I have construction. Oh, that's all building in Cairo that I've fixed. Greece, which I've also fixed. Tunis. Tripoli. Let's put that. Someone need to knock out the Knights of St. John. But I'd like to see them get some cool units first. Okay, I think. Yep, yeah, they're positioned ready to fight the raiding forces. They are still getting troops. Oh no, they're not getting troops. Two garrison guard. Get them two engineers. Got cavalry? No, I don't. Got some horse grenadier guards. I'll just get one of those and then get one. Yeah, the cool cavalry. Household cavalry. It's pretty good. Let's get a unit of household cavalry plus four more units of. I can only get one more unit of guards. But there we go. That's them fully recruited. But at some point I am just going to have to move my stack into here, which is probably going to end up being a big old fight.
And to be honest, a good chunk of these are probably mauled already. Lots of them are just individual troops and units. Ready for order. Oh wow. <laughs> These garrison guards they've been recruited need to <laughs> sprint through <laughs> sprint through enemy territory. Planish Amsterdam, try build that. Let's fix Berlin. Good. All right, end turn. So it's tempting to funnel troops from funnel that American stack round through to the Middle East, and then I can start pushing eastwards into India northwards through Turkey to knock out the Ottomans and then start recruiting stacks to start landing on the Indian coast. So I'm effectively attacking the entire world at once. But with this sort of treasury, that's the sort of uh, activity you can do. Good God. It's going to be a tough nut to crack. Well, here they come. <laughs> and more than welcome to raid away. Got all her gentlemen are piling out. Opportunity to intercept. Ooh. I'm not in a healthy position, but neither are they necessarily. Particularly if I have a breach. If I have a breach, they might just go straight for it. So, might have to take this opportunity while I can. Because the risk is if they just lay and I won't get any troops, and I'll just be in their own. They're all out on their lonesome, out on the eastern. And ultimately, I just need to start moving, pushing um, eastwards. No breaches. Okay, so they're deploying over there. All right, well, I want to make one then. But if I put them like there, actually, what's the reloading skill? 16. So they're not going to get as many shots off as regular lines. So I'll put them up in here in case they get close to my buildings. guys are just gonna garrison the walls and then when needed they will fall back ok 
Come on. There we go. Firing their artillery, good. If I can smash a hole in my wall, I could survive this day. also need to spin some around in this direction to fire onto the reinforcing armies as they arrive. Good, they are retreating. Let's quick climb the hell out of everyone else. Excellent shot. Oh, I'm there. Oh, look at that. That entire unit, 300 down to 53. So we can get them to fire again and hit that cavalry. So let's make this singleton. Ah, oh, too late. Let's try and make them hit that light infantry. Ooh. See where the reinforcements come in. I thought I thought it was over there. It is over there. 
It's not ideal. Good. Once they all, once the breach is made, it will be cast a shot onto that gap. Sometimes it seems it seems a bit weird, but sometimes this is the best thing to do. They are bringing on artillery over here, but I'm hoping by the time they, na they do some damage over here, their, then their main force would have already been... Charging up the walls. Some are trying to flee, some are trying to charge. Make them limber up and go over in this direction. Try to do a bit of counter battery fire. Lots of artillery. Hmm, 
depleted artillery. Where are they shooting? Maybe let's run these. Mm, no, let's keep them there for now. Oh, devastating. Limber up my howitzers and put them over here to fire in the same sort of position. Ultimately, my artillery and line infantry is enough to cover the breach, so I'm probably just going to be better off. Probably should be better off spinning around this direction just to constantly pour fire onto the reinforcements as they come around. Quick climb onto the unit of howitzers. Yeah, you got my American engineers. Ooh. Doing a very good job. No, don't shoot there, shoot them. Spin your howitzer around. First shot. Bang on, but didn't do anything. It's pretty round shots. Focus fire. Same unit, I believe. These guys seem to be broken. Let's have them run down, turn fire and we'll back on. You should be engaging that unit of horse artillery. Same with you.
to get onto the walls. I love Empire, but sometimes this is super annoying. Because they should, that should be they should be toast. There we go. About time. Cannon blasts. Are they firing cannon blasts with their guns? Good, got the artillery. Speed up time a little bit because all they're doing is relocating. Feljaka Sophia. Sophia? Sophia? That's. I don't make any claims to being any good at pronouncing things. <laughs> Come on, get back up on the walls and do your stuff. God, he's just screwing it up. There's one guy down inside the walls. I'm showing that far. Get back to quick climb and just engage blocks of infantry. Go on, 
engage that unit of line infantry. There he is, he's running straight in the middle of a wall. Okay, I'm just going to speed up time a bit here because nothing's really happening. Siege battle has gone quite buggy. Gatehouse. Chase them down. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The Republican Guard are going to try to go through the breach. Oh dear. It's not going to go well for you, is it? Already wavering flu made it. Shaking and steady.
Okay, I'm definitely going to speed this up right now because there's not not many pressures on the field now. God, these engineers are rather buggy when it comes to siege battles. Feldzark is a feared, and then I will send out my general to go knock out that unit of artillery. Just need to knock them out now with a bit of quick lime. <laughs> You're not loading it, guys. Oh, mouse wheel sticky. This is, it feels like level 1 forts don't have nearly as much problems as, with fortifications as level 2 forts. Like this, like he's, they're not even trying. It's not as though, it's not because they're straddling the gateway, they can stand up either side of the gateway. Either side of this walkway rather. Dragoons are giving it a go. It's all because these guys are like stuck on here. So I may as well just run them out because I'll just keep getting shot at and I may as well just let my howitzers have a go. As I run them here to fight with the combat, it's the only, thing, the only useful thing they can do. Come on. All you need is one good shot. Guys, with quick lime, brilliant. <laughs> right, time to send out my general's bodyguard. Let's go hit that unit of artillery. Before they cause any more trouble. Triple speed it because. Nothing's really happening. Oh god, thankfully that might be it. Good. Whew. That was a slog. Yeah, that's pretty much why I dislike tier 2 forts, because... 
that and tier 1 forts are easy to defend, I think. Unless you were fighting an army that's got loads and loads and loads of quicklime, then maybe it wouldn't be quite so good. At least I've pushed the Prussians out. Ooh, pushed the Prussians out into Russian territory more than that, moreover. Oh, well, I'm definitely not fighting it at this part, looking at the time. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.